Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones when it's coming. We are having another commander video. Uh, this time around we are taking a look at Andrea. And you can see Andrea is classified as a defensive commander and I will probably also call her the most defensive commander uh, to currently have in the game. Uh, she's basically an iron wall and we will get further into that uh, soon. But you can see based on her stats that she has a decent amount of defense and health, and her attack is there, it's not very strong or anything like that, but it's there. Um, and yeah, uh, this is that I'm working with here, it's the level 65 commander, or uh, Andrea command, that's commander. Uh, gold of course, and you're going to take a look at her basic attributes and skills right now. Let's take a deeper look at Andrea now. and. We are, of course, we're looking at training runs from rebel leaders and PvP fights. Of course, this isn't uh, covering everything the commander can do, but it's at least a general basic package to kind of find out how she works in different ways, of course. Uh, we have an overview of her skill sets that she's coming with as well, and then, of course, her awakening skill, as well as her basic stats, which we already looked at at the start of the video. Um, so there isn't anything special in that regard, uh, but we will of course go over it. First of all, terrain grounds. Uh, since since uh, Andrea is a defensive commander, you would probably want to use her in the front line. Um, she has uh, fairly decent points in that regard. Uh, she's a very strong defensive commander, uh, infantry commander, which means that she's of course, as usual, working decently against um, spears, okay against the uh, Infantry, and I will probably also say that she can actually hold her own against both as well at this point because she has an active skill that deals damage and increases her own defense for 9 seconds. The increase is not that huge, but it's also not so small. Uh, I believe that it will at least put her over 10k defense uh, once she gets that increase. And she also has a passive that has a 30% half per <laughs> 30% chance of happening when take damage. Uh, that would be a small increase to own defense for 15 seconds. Uh, so basically, as you can see already here, she's pretty much like an iron wall. Uh, she has a bunch of actives and passives that are boosting her defensive uh, skills up further. So she's kind of difficult to take down um, in that regard. But she doesn't really offer that much more. But if you want something that excels defense, then she's probably one of the best commanders that you can get uh, in that regard. Of course, in terms of rebel leaders, the only position you want to turn is basically in the center position, front row. Um, she doesn't deal any high damage or anything like that. She's exclusively focused around defense. You could basically say that she's the type of person that has maxed out defense but hasn't really done anything else. Um, her strong points, of course, is that she's the defensive infantry, command infantry commander, which basically means that she can hold her own fairly easily against spear commanders, uh, not spear commanders, uh, spear rebel leaders. Uh, she can also, fairly sure she can handle uh, level 5 infantry rebel leaders as well. She can probably also handle uh, low level um, cavalry rebel leaders, but of course that requires also some support from the back row in terms of someone that can heal her and keep her alive. But uh, she has basically a guarantee passive, passive uh, that increases her base defense by a small amount. Um, I believe it's over 1k or something like that that the base defense is being increased by. So again, puts her over 10k easily. And then she also has her chance or chance passive, you can call it like that, uh, where if an enemy is attacking her, she has uh, the chance of reducing enemy attack by a small amount as well as enemy strategy. and. Strategy is a bit of a difficult concept in Game of Thrones uh, when it's coming, but it basically kind of determines about how much skill damage you do or something like that from what I can figure out. Um, but I'm not entirely sure how the conversion rate is, but in general, attack reduction is always great, especially at rebel leaders, because it basically makes it so that your tanks can stay alive for longer. and. She is pretty much designed for that role to basically just take hits and not die. Uh, in terms of PvP fights, it's quite interesting uh, with uh, Andrea. 
because as you can fairly easily see there is a decent amount of increases, 30% all around the board, but her increases are focused around infantry uh, attack, health and defense, which is not a bad thing at all. Uh, infantry focused, uh, spear focused or care focused uh, commanders like Soli are decent because they can be used if, if basically you're using that type of unit as your front line, then you will need both uh, defense and health and attack is always nice to have on top of that. So she's by no means any bad commander but just because she's focused around infantry. Her weakness skill of course is there as well. It's focused around uh, how much infantry you have compared to enemy spear. If you have more infantry in your lineup then you will get a defense boost. If you have less uh, infantry than spear compared to the enemy lineup then you will get an attack boost to infantry, so that's something that's really worth noting. And her awakening buffs are also focused around infantry attack, health and defense. So all around she is like a defensive wall, focused around infantry stats, so all around really great for PvP. Um, but before closing off the video, we are of course taking a look at the uh, tavern stats. Nearing the end of the video, we are of course also going to take a look at the tavern stats for Andrea. And her basic stats are... 3 aptitude and 4 leadership, which is pretty decent, really good. Uh, as mentioned before, leadership is kind of difficult to get around. And also, considering the fact that once she's 2 star awakened, she will get an additional star in leadership, she will have 5 leadership at that point, um, which is a really huge boost in terms of army size and ready size. And most people will probably want to go for that if they can. And the com commander overall is also really great in terms for infantry setup, infantry front li front lining, and um, definitely worth investing in. Uh, it's also one of the cheaper paid commanders that you can invest in, uh, while also get it getting a really good um, payout or payback from your money. Basically, um, there are of course better choices, but if you want something that's quite fast to get and not as expensive, then Andrea is fairly decent. Uh, get 50 medals in her packs. Uh, when you buy them, uh, starting at 15 medals at least uh, for 50 black diamonds, which can be reduced with coupons. And of course, there's also the dice event, which you can get her in. And there's also the Vestor's Pass and so on. So that's at least uh, something to keep in mind. But that's, that's kind of what I have to say about her. Um, we have fairly soon some events coming up, Siege of Winterfell next season starting here in a couple of days. And we also have the new Ultimate Tournament which is also coming up in a few days, uh, so that's going to be interesting. I do not believe we have gotten that much information about it yet in the public server. Uh, so you might want to find someone that has access to the testing uh, server that has tried it there, perhaps. Um, Unless, if I find something, I'll try and make a video of it, of course, so keep that in mind as well, but yeah. Hope you liked the video, uh, like and comment if you want to, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and if you want to play the game, the, it, the game link is down in the description below, as well as the link for the Game of Thrones when it's coming Discord group, and there's also going to be a link for the video music that's included here, so yeah. Take care guys, have fun, and have a nice weekend. Bye bye.